Hi, I'm Brian Moran, founder of Government CIO. Welcome to Government CIO Magazine. Hello and welcome to Government CIO Magazine. I'm Vanessa. Today we are sitting down with the Chief Information Officer of the Federal Trade Commission, Mr. Jeff Husky. Because we're leading, leading up from the top, um, I consider myself an innovator. And uh, so what I try to do is sort of inspire other people to sort of think, I hate to use the word outside the box, but that's a phrase everybody understands. And, and to do that, and the way I sort of inspire that is I encourage failure and I encourage success. Uh, failure is something that uh, is acceptable. A lot of people don't want to believe that. But if you take that fear away from people that if they fail, they're going to get hammered or get you know, you know some sort of uh, penalty. Then they think a lot clearer and a lot easier, and they think uh, of things that uh, might possibly happen. So if you start sort of into that niche, uh, then uh, success or innovation follows not nor naturally. Good question. Uh, we're actually partnering with other agencies, other federal agencies. ATFE, for example, is putting together a couple contracts that we're going to take advantage of. Uh, their deputy CIO was a, my former deputy in my last job, and we agreed that they would put a clean uh, a statement in their uh, new contract that allows other agencies to join in on it. And so we're doing that uh, on a couple of big contracts that uh, should hit the streets here right after the first of the year. So they did all the work. We actually helped in the, in the technical evaluation, so we had, they had our, all of our requirements. But as their new contract comes out, all we have to do is add money to it, and then we get that services for FTC. We're doing some other stuff, like uh, we're, you know, it's a lot of people sort of inching their way into clouds. We're getting ready to jump full force into clouds on our uh, public website and stuff that uh, the, uh, you know, the public sees and stuff. Uh, we used to have it in-house, we outsourced it one time, and now we're moving it completely to the cloud. That and a couple other agencies within FTC are joining together, so that we're leading them into this. And so their services will be offered in the cloud as well. Okay. Like every government agency, where I can, where a return on investment I can realize in the first six months. Uh, we'd like to have a return on investment sooner than that, but for good, for big projects, projects over $500,000 or more, if you can get a return on investment in six months, that's a big win for your agency. So, so that's what I'm sort of looking for. Not long-term wins, but short wins that, that take that money and then recapitalize into some innovation process, innovative processes. It has to happen. Um, we have to uh, we have to look at IT services like uh, just like you you do utilities, for example. And uh, everybody needs it. it. IT touches everybody. Uh, years ago, you could say, "Man, I print everything out. I don't like it." But today, it touches everybody. So, if we can now uh, sort of think of it as a utility, where you plug your uh, device into the socket and you have power. You sit down at the computer and you have connectivity and technology to, brought to you, to the edge. Uh, that's, that's where it has to go. Okay. You know, the iPad, the iTouch, all those technologies will do exactly that. What I'm concerned about is the security. Can I protect the data at, of FTC within those devices? And I think I can. <clears throat> so <clears throat> one of the projects that we're putting out is sort of a, a bring your own device uh, approach. So I actually don't want to have to buy this stuff or more, more effectively have to have an organization, have to have a group of people in my organization that can fix an iPad or an iTouch. Instead, I allow people to bring their own because, you know, look at the marketplace. People are buying them left and right. And then I'll apply the technology, an app, for example, that protects uh, my connection into that device and the device itself. And when they close it down, it completely leaves, and it gives the guys, the person back the device as if we were never there. Okay. 
<sighs> Good question. Um, you know, the uh, Facebook, the Twitter, we're using those today. So I, I actually don't consider those new anymore. So so what's the next big thing? Well, I, I think it's it's context. It, it's a phrase called context computing, where the devices talk to each other. Think about this. So you swipe your credit card at uh, Targets and stuff, and the credit card company then pings your cell phone and decides, okay, well, you just swiped your credit card in Washington, D.C., and your cell phone's in D.C. It's probably a good transaction. Mm -hmm. What if you swipe your credit card in Bangladesh and your cell phone's in Washington, D.C.? And the credit card company then can go, go back and say, give you a call, actually call you and say, hey, you have me in Bangladesh because your credit card is here. You, so context-aware computing, I think, is the next big phase. And that's where the, the devices that we're carrying talk to each other and communicate with each other and share information with each other. It's probably the next big social event of um, IT. Sort of uh, everything's encrypted. Um, one of the challenges that we, I have for the iPad, for example, is that I can't encrypt the data at rest. It's 103-2. Uh, it's, not, it's not compliant with that yet. Um, once these devices all meet that requirement, then uh, it'll make my life a lot easier. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so sort of, if we could, and we really can't mandate Apple to follow FIPS, but, and I'm not sure the government's that big of a market, but, um, uh, those devices that do follow the uh, NIST standards and stuff will make, will actually be in play for government and stuff. Collaboration, primarily. Um, I, I don't want FTC to sort of be an island like we sort of have been in the past. I want, uh, we just had a, a CIO council just met uh, last week, and one of the big driving themes behind this was collaborate, collaborate with other agencies. None of us have the dollars and the, and the resources that we've had in the past, so we have to share that with other agencies. I don't necessarily have to own data centers and stuff. You know, GSA can own it for me, or ATFP can own it for me. Uh, as long as I have the service levels I require, when I require them, that's all I need. Whether I own it or somebody else owns it, that's irrelevant.